also I teach physics and science. So I worked with the German department to um, plan an experiment that used different types of cereal bars to model different types of rocks. Um, and I was there when the pupils um, carried out the experiment and then I was there at the celebration of it where pupils shared their experimental results with a geologist from Native Scientists and the Goethe Institute as well. So my involvement in the school's prep for the Language Employability Award was I run a, uh, in conjunction with Film G, a film and media project with my S1 Gaelic pupils. So a lot of schools do this um, and they've got a schools category and it involves the kids getting together and they conceptualise, they script write, they shoot, they edit um, a five minute short film on anything of their choosing. Um, and it, it's just great. I mean, it's, it's something that we do as part of the curriculum here, here anyway. Um, and we do it year on year. Well, it was actually twofold. We were involved with the Advanced Higher German class um, with the SEAT Our World filming project. It tied in nicely. One of the topics was migration and we have been doing that. So I just thought that would be a nice thing for them to just get out of the classroom and get involved with something different, you know, bring it alive a little bit more for them. So that was very, very like good fun. So we got to go into um, the city centre and to uh, the offices and get a filming workshop and get around the town and we videoed and then we won the coveted languages award at the end of it all. The other thing that we were involved in was the um, Goethe, Insti the Goethe Institute. We've got a 10 year partnership with them now. Well, we're a little bit more than that, but we had a, a celebration and we had a load of people involved um, former pupils making testimonials via video. Um, we got the first years to translate these into English for them. Um, we had a great big power presentation with lots of things going on about all the different things we've been involved with the Goethe. But we got a lot of the current um, pupils um, involved too, so they could see what the involvement with the Goethe, the benefits of that for them. And uh, we did a lot of presentations down in the hall with the first years, the fourth years, um, a lot of the pupils involved in drama, music, lots of different things in German, so that was fun. It was easy and difficult to achieve the award at the same time. It's difficult in the sense that anything that we do extracurricularly in any school is, is difficult in that it takes a lot of work, but for the most part, these are things that people are doing anyway. So in that sense, it was really easy. All it required was collecting a wee bit of the admin and a few photographs, and there really wasn't that much extra work involved. I think learning um, German or using problem solving to figure out the German vocabulary um, just changed the context of learning a wee bit. So maybe they're used to rote learning some of the vocabulary, whereas this time they were using the booklet to try and figure out what the words actually meant um, using the scientific context. So there could have been pupils who weren't as enthusiastic about German, who were really engaging with it through the science and vice versa. Um, also, it was a more relaxed environment as well, and there was a lot of discovery involved. Um, so pupils were really enthusiastic about it um, and enjoyed taking part and then meeting a real life scientist to see if their results really did make sense and were correct. The benefits for the pupils in the project that I was running um, are, it gives them a, an insight into the relevance of language learning and particularly Gaelic um, and they can see that it is not the only career available to them, it's not just teaching and education but that the skills are transferable across a range of things and in this case media, uh, they would use the filming equipment themselves so they get their hands on the camera, they get their hands on the, the editing software, they do the technical side of things as well so they spend a whole day cutting and editing. So it gives them a, a, an idea of what it's like to work using this language. For the advanced higher class, it was great just to basically get out of the classroom. Um, we bonded a lot more again, just seeing each other outside school, being able to go for lunch together, dinner together. Um, they had a filming workshop, had someone's little sister along with us. And it was just really fun. And we still have our little WhatsApp group, you know, the, so the kids could actually see that it wasn't just about German, it was about, you know, they could make films, they could talk to other people, they, they, they met people from lots of different schools also. And it was just how you could take your language skills and do something different from with it. And just seeing the, what, one of the boys who was very, very shy, he was actually the star of our Ich bin Sebastian um, film and he just like, he just 
was hilarious. We had such good fun. And for um, with the Goethe Institute, I just felt the, the younger pupils got to see where languages could actually take them eventually and saw the success stories from all of our previous students. But they also got to work with um, some of the senior students that are still here. And we did a nice partnership presentation where they, they all presented and they worked really nicely together. I would say absolutely go for it. It's been a brilliant experience. Um, I don't speak German at all, and I'm now working on a second project with the Goethe Institute. Um, it just allows you to share more of your own passion as well. Maybe if you don't get to teach something that you really enjoy on the, your curriculum, um, that allows you to give input and really see the benefit of it um, with the kids engaging. My advice would be just do it because the chances are you're doing the hard work anyway, why not get recognition for it at the same time?